Hey, it's Roman with Deer Park Farmstead. Just uh, checking. Uh, Drago. He's got a weird sounding moose. Anyways, got some eggs here. Buff Orpington. And uh, some Delawares. They're a little bit more kind of darker. And then, then we have the uh, speckles on the well sires. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my tunnel. It's not looking so good. Looking pretty sad. So, um, we got some really, really serious snow. So, check this out. I'm going to show you what the tunnel looks like because it's in bad, bad shape. Poor tunnel. I'll turn this around and show you. And what I'm going to be doing to fix this, remedy to the situation, right? So, there you see a collapsed tunnel on both sides. Not good. Not good at all. So I called Farmer's Friend who makes this tunnel. I got this tunnel three years ago. They have improved all their tunnels greatly since I've bought it, of course, right? And so the, what they have now is a kit. It's for 80 bucks and it goes along the whole top of this with braces on each of these, strengthening it and preventing it from collapsing. So just got to bite the bullet, get it. And I was, I was going to go another way, but that was before they made this kit. So I might as well just get the kit because it, it, it's made specific for it. And um, they even have the side mounting that goes this way on both sides, this side and the other side. And it kind of goes um, with to two posts. So from here to here to here, if it's at the very end. I believe there's probably two down right now. So it goes to two posts and it goes down and prevents, like it's supposed to be for the wind. So um, that one's $75. I'm gonna first go with the top one, see how we go for a season. This plastic is supposed to last for five years. And so I've got a couple more years left. We'll see how that goes. Now, also they make extensions that go down here further and it lifts up this whole t tent a lot higher. So you can, you know, get a lot more on the sides with if you have any implements to use like uh you know some kind of a motorized you know implement type thing and you can get in there i don't really need i, I pretty much just lift the plastic and i'm able to get in there and and do all the work i need to do but you know that's pretty cool too also they sell the tops just the top part. It's a kit that just does, does the top for the Gothic tunnels. A Gothic tunnel was made right after, I, again, after I bought this and they're specifically made for snow because they have the peak on the top and it helps to alleviate the snow from, you know, falling, you know, or just collecting on top, which that's what happens on these. Just all it does is just sit. And uh, it's just a very poor design for snow. But um, when I saw that gothic, I knew exactly why they made that gothic tent or tunnel. So just going to have to make do with what I have. This was $1,200. So I'm just going to use what I have and uh, we'll go from there. That, you know, it's... I don't know how much the shipping is. It was it was pretty expensive when I got this this tunnel to begin with because I had it shipped. But just gonna have to bite the bullet and go for it. This is this can't happen anymore. But that storm really jacked things up around here.
So you could see, kind of, anyways, not around the tunnel so much, but it's kind of dry, isn't it? There, right? The dry spots there, you know? This is good. We didn't have this last year. So we're gonna get, we are gonna get some snow, a little more snow, and the temps are gonna drop pretty low. Um, that's gonna be tonight. So, you know, we're still not out of this yet, but the groundhog came out and looks like spring is coming sooner. Loving that. So we'll get to this garden igloo a lot sooner, I hope. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do any, you know, anything sim similar to what I did in the very beginning, which was digging out and, you know, kinda working a little harder, but getting the ground a little more uh, drier to thaw. So I may shovel out some stuff. Hard to say, I mean, it's, it's just a battle that I don't know if it's gonna gain me anything. Uh, I could, you know, start in the inside and just kind of see how things are going inside. I don't even want to go in there right now uh, until I get that kit and then I'm going to work on it. It's just right now, this is just a sad situation, isn't it? All right, I'm going to get to uh, getting these animals fed and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Be well.